clot unboiling the clot unboiling is a quick and simple test it is one of the oldest test uh, for two acid milk or abnormal milk if a milk sample fails in the test the milk might be containing acids or acid producing bacteria or abnormally high levels of protein such as colostrum such milk turns into curd or clot on heating treatment during the milk processing so such milk must be rejected uh, for this procedure a test tube of a, uh, 25 ml to 50 ml is required separate lamp with pipette of 10 ml test tube holder are required no chemical reagent is required in this process first of all we will take uh, 4 to 5 ml of milk sample in a clean dry tube with the help of a pipette fix the test tube in the test holder uh, test tube holder and heat the milk in the test tube to boil uh, boiling point over a spirit lamp after boiling remove the test tube from the spirit lamp uh, tilt the test tube gently and observe the grains or precipitation along the test tube walls if grains or precipitations are present then record the test as positive for this test test tube test tube should be clean and neat no residues of detergent uh, <clears throat> continuous shaking the test tube gently during heating is must opening of test tube should be towards the opposite side of the analyst during heating ensure using uh, personal protect, uh, protection equipments during analysis and testing that uh, plotting or coagulation of the sample in the tube indicates the fla- failure of this test this test may fail uh, to detect the quality if a freshly drawn milk is contaminated with bacteria acidity of the sample is below 0.2 to 0.26% lactic acid milk is contaminated non acid by non acid producing bacteria alcohol coagulation test alcohol coagulation test is simple and rapid it is based on poor stability of milk proteins in presence of alcohol when the level of lactic acid or any other acid is high or amount of rent is increased increased level of milk albumin such as colostrum or increased salt concentration as mastitic Uh, milk may fail to quantify the test uh, for this test a test tube and pipette is required and ethanol solution of about 60% 65% 68% and 79% is required although the mixing uh, mixing the sample before taking uh, the sample with pipette take 2 ml of milk sample with the help of a pipette in a dry clean test tube add 2 ml of ethanol solution in the test tube of the above concentration in uh, each concentration will be taken in a uh, separate test tube invert the test tube two to three time observe grains or precipitate formation along the walls of the tube if precipitation occur then the result uh, test results are positive uh, precautionary measure for this test are to ensure the concentration of the solution and uh, ph between 7 to 8 examination within 3 seconds ethanol solution must be dropped at the side of the dish not on the surface of the milk sample use sucker for ethanol solution and ensure the use of personal protection equipments during testing alcohol alzarin test this test is just like alcohol test alzarin is a ph indicator alcohol alzarin test is uh, more informative it will in decay the coagulation as well as intensity of acid alcohol as uh, alzarin solution is used in this pup, uh, test a simple test tube is required and milk sample is required alzarin powder uh, how alcohol alzarin solution is prepared for this we need 0.2 grams of alzarin powder uh, ethanol uh, so 500 ml of ethanol solution 61% ethanol solution Uh, for the procedure we will take 2 ml of milk sample in a test tube and add 2 ml of alcohol alzarin solution incubate the mixture at 25 degree centigrade for 5 minutes <coughs> acidity test uh, bacteria that normally grow in raw milk produce ferment lactose and produce lactic acid in an acidity test the lactic acid is neutralized with 0.1 normal solution of the sodium hydroxide 
the amount of sodium hydroxide is measured and from this amount the percentage of lactic acid is calculated. For this purpose we need a burette, a pipette of 10 ml, beaker of 100 ml and a drop of water. Uh, chemical reagents required for this test are 1% uh, phenolphthalein solution and 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution. For this we will take uh, for preparation of 1% phenolphthalein we will take 1 gram of phenolphthalein in 100 ml of volumetric flask, dissolve it in 100 ml ethanol, shake it well and neutralize it with 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution. Uh, for sodium hydroxide solution, we usually take standard ampules of 0.1 normal concentration, cut it from both sides and pour that so uh, solution from the ampule into 1000 ml volumetric flask and then make the volume up to 1000 ml by adding the distilled water. For the acidity test, take 9 ml of milk, sample to be tested in 100 ml beaker with the help of a clean dry pipette. In case of clean, add equal amount of distilled water to dilute the sample. Add 2 to 3 drops of uh, phenolphthalein solution being used as an indicator. Before titrating the milk sample, make sure that level of 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide burette is at 0 mark. Slowly add 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide from burette drop by drop with constant shaking of sample in beaker. When first definite and relatively permanent shade of pink color appear, titration is complete. Note the burette reading and multiply it with 0.1 to get the percent acidity. To calculate percent acidity as lactic acid, volume of sodium hydroxide used is multiplied by 0 0.009, multiplied by 100 and whole is divided by volume of the sample taken. Fresh milk contains natural acidity that is due to the natural ability of the resistant pH changes. The natural acidity of milk is about 0.16 to 0.18 percent. The acidity higher than this is due to fermentation of lactose by the lactic acid producing bacteria. To determine pH of the milk, all we need is a pH meter, buffer solution of 4 and 1 p, uh, 7 pH for pH meter calibration. First adjust the temperature of representative sample to 20 degrees C. Then dip the electrode in the sample, wait till the reading is stable and consistent. Note the pH on the display of the pH meter. For this test, pH meter should be calibrated as per the procedure and uh, maintain a calibration record for it. Temperature of the sample should be 20 degrees centigrade. Uh, after the test, wash electrodes with water and use personal protection equipment during analysis. That's all for this lecture. Thank you so much.